Since we've done the text field control, the text view control is the next natural control to take a look at. The text view is essentially a multi-line text field. So I'll drag one onto our storyboard. And you can see the multiple lines there. You also see that it's pre-populated with something called lorem ipsum. It's basically Latin. I don't speak Latin, so I don't know what it says, but it's typically used just as demonstration text because no one speaks Latin anymore. So there's our text view control. And we'd like a button. I'm actually going to shorten that a touch. And I'm going to change the size so I can see a little bit better what I'm doing. Okay, so that's what it's going to look like. And you can see, of course, that I have a little bit of a problem and we know how to fix that. But we'll put the label on first. And we're going to give ourselves a big multi-line label. Okay, so we've got 20 lines on that label. And our problem here, our text view is too wide, but we can fix that with our editor. We can resolve our auto layout issues, add our missing constraints. I should have resized it before I did that, but we'll take a look at the warning and reset that to suggested constraints and fix the misplacement. Okay. So a little refresher on that resetting constraints. So here's our text view and we can set the text and the colors and the fonts and alignments similar to a text field. So now I'd like to hook up the connections and we're going to do the same sort of thing that we did with the text field. I need a referencing outlet for the text view. I need a referencing outlet for the label. And I need an action for the button. And just as before, I will set my label text equal to my text view text. So as you can see, this code is extremely similar to what we had for a text field. I'm going to do one other thing, a little realignment. Having trouble grabbing that handle. There we go. Okay. And now you can see we have multiple warnings. And you'll see the effect of that apply to all views and containers.
Okay. So now we're going to give this a run. And here's our text view, our button, and our label. If I just click the button, you can see the label fills up. And of course, I can delete some things in the text view. And click Submit, and my label updates again. Okay, great. Now there's one thing we couldn't see in there. Normally, of course, we're dealing with a simulator, but your customers, of course, have real devices. And when they tap into a text view, they're going to get a keyboard. And one of the annoying things that can happen with an application is when the keyboard covers some other control and there's no way for you to close the keyboard. So one of the features that we can put into our app is just a tap anywhere and the keyboard will close. So let's take a look at how to do that. We have an overall view that we're adding our controls to. And normally this view is of type UI view. And normally it doesn't have any actions or events to deal with. But if we call this a UI control, which all of our controls descend from UI control, and we go back to our outlets, we do indeed now have events. And if we hook the touch up inside event, This event will occur anytime the view is touched. Now that won't include when the text field is touched or the button is touched, but what will include this area around the button or any kind of dead area. And what we would like to do is to make that keyboard go away. And we can do this actually by calling on the text view and resign first responder. The first responder for the text view is the keyboard. I'm just going to put a breakpoint here to show you when the view gets called. So I'm going to tap into the text view and I don't get any event for the view. I'll tap the button, still no event. And I'll tap the label and now I have an event. And we'll continue. And I'll tap in this dead area and again I get an event. And we'll continue. So now if the keyboard is covering the label, I can actually just tap on the label and get to see the rest of the label. So this is one of those handy things that you may need when you're creating user entry forms. It is one of those annoyances, and I can't tell you how many clients I've had that have taken a look at an app and said, the keyboard is in the way. Is there a way we can deal with that? This is one way. Another way is to use a scroll view, and we'll see that much later in the course. 
So that's our look at a text view.